Hello, this is David. I wanted to show how easy it is in R to simulate a log normal random walk of a stock price. So I've written a function here that I called rwalk, and it's passed two arguments, mu and sigma. Mu is the expected return of the stock per annum, so annual drift, we sometimes call that. And then sigma is the annualized volatility. So first I define p sub zero as the starting price of the stock. I've just said it's $1,000. And then days is the number of trading days per year. So here in these two lines, I just translate the per annum inputs into daily drift and daily volatility. Daily drift is mu dot daily. It's drift is proportional, so we just take the annual drift of mu divided by the number of days. Daily volatility applies the so-called square root rule. So that takes the sigma, which is the past argument, which is the volatility per annum and divides by the square root of the number of days. So there's an important assumption to doing this and that is called the IID assumption. That means that we're assuming the returns are independent and identically distributed. Not realistic, but we do do it. Then I only need three commands to generate the series. And that's, you'll notice there's no loops required because R naturally uses vectors. So first, I define or create the variable r, which is a vector of 100 random normals using the r norm function. r norm is going to return a vector of 100 random normals with mean of r mu dot daily and standard deviation of r sigma dot daily. So I get back a, back a vector, one for each day in our 100 day series and we're going to be assuming these are continuously compounded returns. So then I can create the variable log price, which is going to be the series over 100 days of log prices, not of prices, but the log, log or natural log of the prices. And I can do that here just due to do the elegance of continuously compounded returns. If today is P sub zero, R is the daily um, continuously compounded return, then I can just take the exponential function of that to get tomorrow's price. That means if I take the natural log of both sides, the natural log of tomorrow's price is the natural log of today's price plus R, our daily continuously compounded return. And due to that convenience or elegance really, log price gives me a vector of 100 log prices in our series. We start with the log of our initial value of 1,000, and then we have the vector which accumulates. This is the cum sum function. This is a vector whose elements are the cumulative sum of the arguments element. So the first value in this vector is the first value in R. The second value in this vector is going to be the sum of the first two values in R. The third value in this vector is going to be the sum of the first three values in this vector R. And again, that's because we're using continuously compounded returns. They can be summed here to give us a vector, which is the series of log prices. That means I can get back to just regular prices by calling the exponential function on this log price vector. So prices then gives me the vector, and then I'll just show you quickly what that looks like if I run that function. And you can see here it is, and I'll run it once more just to do another simulation. And you can see, and once more, like that. So that's a simulated uh, log normal random walk. This is David Harper of the Bionic Turtle. Thank you.